Hi guys, welcome back to Working Out With Me. Thank you for joining me for this low impact chair workout. So today you're gonna want a nice sturdy chair available. Make sure it's not on wheels and it's best to have it up against a wall as we will be moving a lot throughout this workout. All right, grab your water, keep it close. I will be giving you water breaks uh, throughout this workout and let's get going. All right, we are going to sit down on this chair. Our feet are going to be nice and flat. I just want you to have like a comfortable space in between your knees. What we're going to do is we're going to reach out our hand out here and our opposite, the opposite leg is going to reach out this way and we're going to elongate our body right like this. We're going to go back down and then we're going to alternate. All right, you guys, are you ready? And let's go reach out reach out nice going side to side keeping our backs nice and straight keeping our spine straight your stomachs are in nice and tight engaging those abs great job guys keep it going just tapping side to side All right, we're going to do 10 more starting right now 10 9 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're gonna kind of do the same thing, but you wanna scoot down just a little bit more down that chair. So like the bottom of the chair is at the bottom of my booty. And what we're gonna do is our hands are gonna be on our knees. We're going to raise our hands up straight here while lifting up the opposite knee. And then we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna raise up the other hand, raising up that opposite knee. All right, you guys, are you ready? And go, lift, lift. Now I want your foot in a flex position. I forgot to mention that. Make sure your foot is nice and flexed. And I really want you to reach towards that ceiling there so that you can really work those triceps. We're engaging those lower abs. Just keep it going. Nice, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and your abs are engaged, keeping them in nice and tight. 10 more starting now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Now I'm gonna have you scoot back just a little bit, not too much. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chair jack, but we're gonna have our arms go out like a T, so we're not gonna go up here. All right, so our arms are gonna go out like a T while we open our legs wide and then down, okay? So we're gonna open up and then we're gonna bring them right back down. Are you guys ready? And go. Open, close, open, close. My abs are in nice and tight. My back is straight. My spine is straight. Nice. Don't forget to breathe for me. You don't want to go any higher than your shoulder height. So just right here. Awesome. Great job, guys. Keep it going. Open and close. Open and close. All right, we have 10 more starting now. 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, now we're gonna sit back a little bit more, so we are slowly edging back on our chair. Hands are gonna go behind the head. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not pushing on my head. So I don't have them laced up and I'm not pushing. I just have them right here. My elbows are gonna be pushed back. My chest is going to go out, all right? And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze open up and then we're gonna bring them right here. So open up that chest and that back, squeezing the shoulder blades. And then I want you to crunch have your elbows touch if they can if not do not worry about it just go as close as you can open up and then crunch open up 
and then crunch. Now we are doing a seated ab workout. When we go in here, my upper back now is rounded, okay? But I'm not going down, okay? I'm just crunching. Up, crunch. Open up, chest is out. Nice, all right, we have 10 more. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one and one. Nice job, guys. All right, our next move our feet are going to be together, our knees are going to be together. And I want you to scoot. Now we're going back up towards the edge. So I'm just underneath my booty at the edge. So the edge of the chair is at um, the edge. Well, it's probably like probably an inch away from my end of my booty. All right, so we're gonna sit right here. What we're gonna do is you're gonna keep your back as flat as you can. All right, and that spine, you're gonna keep it nice and straight. Your chest is going to lead. You're gonna go for it. And I like to call this a turtleneck because your neck kind of goes out and reminds me of a turtle. So we're gonna go down like this and we're gonna touch the floor if you can. If not, I just want you to go right here. And then we're gonna go right back up. And then we're gonna go on this side and then right back up. Now, if you have a bad lower back, I want you right here. You're just gonna touch those outer caps right here, but you're still gonna keep that back nice and straight. And you're not bending your back, okay? So I don't want you to round it. We're bending at the hip flexors right here. We're just going forward and and um, back, keeping the back nice and straight. All right, you guys, are you ready? Let's go. Down and touch. Now again, if you can't touch the floor, that's okay. And if you have lower back issues, okay? What you guys are gonna do, I'm gonna show you right here. And now, touch the outside of that calf, right there. Stomach still engaged. Nice, good job. Keeping it going, side to side, keeping that back. Now, if you can touch the floor, but you can't do it without keeping your back straight, then I want you to go down as far as you can. Sometimes it's down to the ankle, and then up, all right? Just working on that flexibility, reaching. All right, we have 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, I'm gonna go to calf, six, five, four, three, and then I'm gonna go to ankle, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Okay. Next one, sit back on your chair as you probably just saw me do. Okay, I am in Florida. It is hot here, so excuse me as I put my hair up out of my way. Okay, we're gonna open up our legs. Feet are gonna be flat on the floor. When we lift up our knees, we will be lifting them up. I want you to have a flexed foot, okay? That will help engage those lower abs. Okay, what we're gonna do is our arms are gonna go behind our head again, elbows are open. This time we're not over extending, we're just, they're just out to the side right here, nice and relaxed, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Now don't worry if you can't go all the way up and touch, go where you are, even if it looks like this, okay? It's still a great workout, you're still engaging those abs, and hey, you're still moving. All right, you guys ready? And let's go. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Perfect. Now we're gonna go nice and slow with this movement as we are working the abs. So we wanna go nice and slow, elbow to knee. If you can touch, go ahead. And if not, right here, here's the modification. Awesome, good job. All right, we have 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, next one we are going to do is we're gonna to try to clap under and then open. Clap under and then open. Now, if you have a bad back, 
um, what I would like you guys to do is just clap the side of your, like right underneath your knees and uh, between the knees and the calves. You're gonna clap and then open, clap and then open. So that's where you guys are gonna be. Okay, you guys ready? And again, when you go forward, I want you to keep that back as straight as you possibly can. All right, you guys ready? And let's clap, clap, open, clap, open. Nice. Now when you go forward, again, I want you to keep that chest up and you're giving me that turtleneck right there, right like that. Great job. All right, we have 10 more. I'm gonna do the modification for the 10 more starting right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna do what we kind of did in the beginning. Remember when we went like this, side to side? Okay, we're gonna scoot down really low. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, knee, and then out, knee. All right, we are gonna be alternating, okay? You can place your hands on the side, at the opposite side of where your hand is, because we'll be bringing up that knee and then going side to side. All right, you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Over, knee, down, reach, knee, down reach knee down make sure to get that reach in first before you bring up that knee side to side alternating perfect you got it keep it going nice all right ten more now ten nine Eight, seven, six, five, four, whew, three, two, last one, one, whew. All right, it is time for our first water break. So let's grab our water, get a little drink. Remember, you don't want to gulp your drink. You want to make sure you just kind of sip it. You don't want to gulp it and have it all slush around and make you feel heavy and just like, ugh, all bloated and everything. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's add on from this. What we are going to do now is our hands are going to be going back behind your head, but just in a relaxed form. We're not doing that elbow thing. So you're just right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go knee and then front kick knee and then front kick so we're going to the opposite knee opposite front kick all right are you guys ready all right hands behind the head we are going to be alternating here we go we're going to go knee foot hand knee foot hand nice now my feet are in a flex position oops i forgot to kick on that other side i think i can't remember knee kick knee kick now with this one when the knee goes up and the leg goes up you do have to round your back so don't worry about that but try to keep it straight when you're sitting up 10 more 10 9 8 7 6 5 four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, now we're just gonna do chair jacks. We're just gonna open and close. So we're gonna make an X out of our body. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go. Open, close, open, close. Nice, good job guys. Keep those abs nice and engaged back is straight spine is straight Woo. and if i am going too fast go at your speed just stop when i do great make sure you're breathing is everybody breathing for me i hope so keep 
Keep going. All right, we have 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to combine two moves that we had done. So we're going to reach over one, reach over two, and then the third one, we're gonna bring up the knee. All right, so it's gonna go one, two, knee. One, two, knee. All right, if you guys are ready, get positioned on your chair and let's go. One, two, give me that knee. Nice. One, two, give me that knee. Ooh. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. And again, if I'm going too fast, you just go at your pace. Just stop when I do. Just repeat the motions in your head or out loud to drown me. One, two, three. Woo! One, two, three. All right, we got 10 more, guys. Over, knee, one. Woo! Say that's nine. Count backwards. Eight. Seven. Reach. Reach. Six. Reach. Reach. Five. Reach. Reach. Four. Reach. Reach. Three. Ooh, two more. Ooh. Two. Nice job. And one. Whoo! Whoo! That was a good one, guys. All right. Next one. Our arms are going. Our legs are going to be wide. Toes are going to be out. Our hands are going to be here. What we're going to do is we're going to clap together and then open out. Now, with my arms open, what I am doing, I'm doing what we did up here. Remember? So I have them pushed back. My chest is out. My back is straight, but I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. All right. So you squeeze together and then clap, all right? You guys ready? Let's start wide and let's go. Clap, open, clap, open. Sit up nice and tall, stomach's engaged. Exhale when you clap. Inhale when you push back, push. Nice job, guys. Great. Make sure your hands when you're clapping are just right in front of you. You want it in line with your eyes. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Woo, nice job guys. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're here, we're just gonna do opposite leg kick, okay? But we are gonna be reaching for that ankle or foot, okay? Now I don't want you to over, I should explain, I don't want you to like really touch your foot, I just want you to reach for it, all right? So our hands behind the head, sit up nice and tall, and here we go, alternating leg lift, up, up, up. I kinda touch my shin. I'm touching like right here, right in the middle. Nice job. Keep it going. Switch, switch. All right, 10 more starting now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one nice job guys and it is time for another water break so get your water let's take a quick little break nice okay put your water to the side where you won't knock it down we are going to go towards the edge of our chair our knees are going to be together and our feet are going to be together what we're gonna do is our, arm, our elbows are gonna go, our hands are gonna go right next to our ears and our elbows are gonna go forward. And what we're gonna do is we're going to crunch 
down towards each knee. So what I'm doing is I'm elongating my abs and then I'm gonna crunch them. I'm gonna elongate them and then I'm gonna crunch them. All right, you guys are ready? And here we go. Crunch, crunch. And this one, my foot is just relaxed, okay? So it's not pointed, it's not flexed. Now, if you have a bad back, you're just right here, okay? So I want you to keep the elbows up, but alternate those knees, okay? So bad back, you're right here. Or if you have a bad hip or whatever, just right here. All right, we have 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, guys. All right, we're going to sit back just a little bit. What we're going to do is our hand's going to be here. We're going to open up, go down, and then right back up. Now, um, we are not going to go all the way down. So I'm just going about calf, calf weight. So pretend you have something right here. Or maybe you do have something. Maybe grab your water bottle. Okay, I'm going to go right by my water bottle. No, if you want to just go at that height. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Open, down, and then up. Down, and then up. Now remember, we're keeping our back straight. Our stomachs are in tight. And we're bending from the, um, from the hip flex right here, okay? Do not bend your back. Use those hips. Down, and then together. All right, you guys, we have 10 more. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, and one. Nice. If you didn't have your water bottle down here, grab your water bottle. We're actually going to be using it for this next one. If you can, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. So we're going to go on one side, sit up nice and tall again. My hands are going to be here because I am going to help them to go back. I am going to go back on my arms. When I do go back on my arms, I'm working those triceps, so I'm going to be bending at the elbow, okay? So I'm going to be bending and then right back up, bending and then right back up, okay? Now, if you don't have room for that, that's okay, all right? Just do the leg movement, okay? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to step over, oops, step over, step over. So we're going to jump over our water bottles. Now, if you can't do that, ditch your water bottle and just try to lift as high up as you can. All right, and if you can't, then you're right here. All right, I'm going to start with the water bottle for those of you who, who are going to do that one. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go, up and over, up and over, up and over. Stomach's in tight. Working those lower abs. Modification, if you don't have the, if you're not able to, just a little bit, a little, a little, side to side. Okay, another modification, step in. 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I totally felt that in my lower abs. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the edge of the chair. Of course, not too far. We don't want to fall off them. What we're going to do is we're going to slide our heel out. Toes are going to be up. We're going to reach for it, and then we're going to stand up. Toe and then reach. Toe and then reach. Now, if you have a bad back, I just want you to do this, okay? You're not going forward, okay? You're just going to maintain that sitting up position, all right? Are you guys ready? And here we go. Slide it out. Toe. Slide it out. Toe. Just reaching down. The goal is not, I don't want you to overreach. I don't want you to do that. You're just reaching towards it. All right, modification again for bad backs. You guys are right here. Reaching out. All right, we have 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, nice job guys. Okay, we are almost there. Arms are gonna be up here and we're going to touch the inside of our feet, okay, if you can. All right, and if you can't, just do what you can. Okay, if you just touch the knees, then touch the knees. Open up your legs a little bit, sit up nice and tall, arms are up, and let's go. Touch, touch. Arms stay straight, stomachs are in tight, backs are straight, spine is straight, protecting that body at all times. And remember, if you can't go here, go here. Okay, just do what you can. This works just as well. All right, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Nice job, guys. Awesome job, super proud of you. Get your drink of water. It is time to stretch. Best part of the workout. Woo. Nice job, guys. All right, come back to your seats and let's stretch. Okay, for our first stretch, I'm gonna actually turn my chair to the side so you guys can see me a little bit better. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit towards the edge of your chair and midway up your chair, I want you to grab it and then grab the other side mid up. Okay, you're gonna pop your chest out, head's gonna go back. If you can, if that makes you dizzy, I want you to look down at the floor making sure your shoulders are being pulled back, chest is out, whether your head is back or your head is down, just hold. Nice, now arms go in front, drop that head between the arms, rounding out the upper back and hold. While you guys hold that, I'm gonna move my chair back. Nice, now come up, and I want you guys to release your hands, and I want you to reach up towards the ceiling like you're trying to touch it. Reach, 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 opening up those vertebrae in your back. Nice, now arms go slowly down. Open up your legs, and now it's gonna look like my hands are on my knees, my hands are not on my knees, um, but in the camera I know it always looks like it is. We're in the inside of my thigh, so I'm right above my knee. You're gonna open up. So if you notice, I'm right here, and I'm gonna open up. My chest is going down towards the ground, but my back is staying straight. I'm giving you that turtleneck thing again. And hold. Nice. Straighten out your arm one side and hold. Release back in the middle. Do the other side and hold. Nice, and then slowly curl up. All right, we're gonna take one foot over the leg, if you can, all right? Now, some of you are like, oh my gosh, how does she get her knee down there? It's okay if you're like this, it's still gonna work, okay? Wherever your knee is, that's okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do now, oh, if you can't do that, I want you to cross your leg, all right? And you're still gonna do the same, the same movement we are, okay? So if you're not able to put that leg up, I just want you to cross it over, okay? All right, for those of you who have our legs up, hand on the foot, hand on the knee, sit up nice and tall. Now we're just gonna slowly go forward with our chest, just a little bit, turtleneck again, and hold. Now, I don't want you to go down very far. It's a very little movement. You should be feeling it in the back of um, your booty, your hip area, your thigh. Nice, sit up and keep that leg there, okay? Regardless if you have it crossed over or not. All right, the hand and the knee is gonna go down, um, holding the bottom of your chair. This hand, the opposite one, is going to cross over that knee, and I want you to look behind. Nice, and release. We're gonna release both of them. 
now the other side. Okay, cross over. And again, if your knee's up here, that's okay, it still works. And if you can't cross your knee over your leg, cross up, up on your leg, cross it by the ankles right like this. It does the same, same thing. Hand on your foot, hand on your knee, chest is going to lead and go forward. Remember, it's a very slight movement. You're not going forward too much. You should feel it instantly in, um, in your booty, in your hip, in your thigh. Turtle neck forward and hold. Sit up nice and tall, leaving the leg wherever you had it. All right, the hand of the leg that you have crossed or the knee up, hold the bottom. Opposite is going to cross over that knee or that leg, even if you're down here, and then look behind you. Nice. And then come forward. All right, we're going to end with cooling breaths while sitting, so get nice and comfy. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale nice and long through our noses. We're going to raise our hands up. We're going to hold right and reach and then we're going to exhale nice and slow out of our mouths bringing our hands down to the front we're going to do this three times all right are you guys ready inhale hold exhale nice inhale hold exhale more time. Inhale, hold, exhale. Awesome job guys. That is our chair workout for the day. I don't know about you, but I am sweaty. <laughs> that was a great one. Thank you again for joining me for my workout. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be um, revamping this channel. I will be starting to give tips on how I lost 38 pounds while being on heavy steroids due to medical issues. And I've always had arthritis since I was a kid. I had juvenile arthritis, so it is throughout my body. And I wanna help you guys to stay healthy, stay motivated, stay active, and together we can do this. Peace out from Naples.